Well, the first drill we're going to work out with, work with, with Pat is going to be the ladder drill. This is going to help him get a little bit better distance control. So. Basically, the way this works is you, you, you get at a target. You can you start you can start right by right by the cup. Yep. And what you do is you pick a spot that's like three feet in front of your in front of the golf hole that you're standing by. So you put that putter out there. You hit the ball to the target. Now the next the, idea, the, the purpose of this drill. So the next one you want to hit about two feet past that ball. Yep. Okay. Okay, and now on the third putt, being that I went a little bit far with my first two, I'm gonna go with a shorter on the next one. And basically what we've created is a ladder drill. Because now you can come back over here, now you're working on a three-footer, a six-footer, and a ten-footer. Okay. So then you turn around, you can putt to your target and try to make the putt. Put it, scoot back to the next one. Okay, and then ideally, what we're gonna use, we're gonna use this alignment rod. And we're gonna use this and put this 18 inches behind the hole. And we're gonna call that our safe zone. We don't want the golf ball to go past that hole. So what, what, the, what this drill is doing, it's allowing you to, to learn the speed of the greens. And so when you're learning the speed of the green, you're comfortable over that three-footer, that six-footer, ten-footer, and so you know your distance control. Okay? Let's go ahead and see it a little bit. Make sure you get a little bit closer to the ball. Get that putter flat. Yeah? Just like that. This next one, like two feet short. Perfect. Now, now you can see where you hit the balls. This is where you can learn, like, okay, I can do this drill a few more times because you want you want to be able to have that separation of the golf ball, just like that. Okay. Yep. And then you can turn around, and now you can put to your target, and you don't want it to go more than 18, more than 18 inches past the hole. Exactly. to use the ladder drill in order to learn the distance on the control your distance on the greens. Just like that. So you can always test that. You know, it's a little homework, something you can work on at home. 
Um, other than that, I think today was a success. So oh, absolutely. What would you, what'd you feel about today's lesson? Uh, I feel like you really helped me out. You know, my uh, my sissy, sissy looks a lot better. Uh, the stroke definitely, definitely feels a lot better. And, uh, you know, I like that whole kind of move the shoulder turn really. Uh, I think it's a good thought. Perfect. Cool, man. Well, uh, thanks for coming out today. Oh, but thank you very much. And I'll see you next week. Appreciate it. We'll see you next week. All right. One thing to fly the ball to the target, but then uh, then you're stuck with a 10 to 12 footer coming back. Yeah. You know. So what we're gonna do is, I have a ring here. We're gonna pick a spot about where we want to try to land the golf ball to get the ball to roll to the pin. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Now to really kind of keep Pat keeping his keeping the club low through the zone, keeping the club following finishing low. Try to land it in that circle. Try to land in that circle. Okay, a little bit short of our target. What that what that target on the green is doing it's allowing Pat to have a visual to, to aim at besides the hole it's given him the ability to choose a, choose a spot on the green so that he can best approach the shot so that he's left with a short makeable putt or holding out So I'm going to let Pat hit a couple more to that target there on the green and then I'm going to take the target away so that we can show how the learning is transferred into his approach to the shot. You know, what's, what's funny about this shot is, you know, if, if you don't have a circle in your golf bag, you can always use a golf tee as well, you know.
take this tee away, and I want you to approach the shot as if you're about if you're playing the shot. So you got your shot here. And now I want you to find that spot on the green and chip to that spot. I always like to I call it spot spot chipping or pitching. You're always going to chip or pitch to a spot with the anticipation of rolling the ball to your to the pit. Okay, to the, the flag stick. Might be hard for the camera to pick up on that, but that was pretty much spot on. do a drill that's gonna work with his balance a little bit. I'm gonna have him drop his right foot back, keep his balance on his left foot. It's really gonna cause him to turn through the golf ball, trying to keep the get the ball a little bit lower, lower ball flight, and get his hands a little bit lower through the zone. Alright Pat. So on this next one here, what I want you to do, here go ahead and switch it here real fast. Okay. I'm gonna have it's a it's it, it, this is a drill. So it's like you don't want to swing full swing at this. You want to maybe swing 75% swing speed. But what it's going to help you do, I've noticed a little bit like your thin ones, you really kind of like finish on your on your back heel and your body moves forward a little bit. Yeah. So what I'm trying to get you to do is have a little better, a little bit better balance in your golf swing. Okay. So I'm going to have you take your right foot and drop it back, okay? All right. And the, this time the ball position is going to be off your inside of your left foot because you're basically hitting off one foot. But basically what you do with this drill, you have that back foot back. I want you to be able to finish hold with that balance on that left side of your leg. I don't want you to fall forward. Okay. That, that, that'll demonstrate your body weight falling forward. Once again, right foot back. shorter than a regular full swing for you there. separation in the club and the, and the shaft, you're going to feel it hit. So ideally what you want to do here is like, you want to be able to finish 
your hands far out to where that shaft is missing your body. Okay. Okay. Yep. You practice things like that. Then you have to hit a golf ball. Okay. 